Hi everyone, Sarah here. Welcome to episode 9 of Use It or Lose It. Uh, so this week um, I had a little bit of help. Uh, Tina Kappa. Hi Tina. Tina and I were talking about watercolor crayons. Um, obviously Tim Holtz has uh, released some of his own right now and actually Michaels has their own recollections brand um, in their new color splash release that they just had. Um, but I have the original stamping up watercolor crayons from when I was a demonstrator eons ago. I have two sets. Um, this is the Bold Brights and then I also have the Earth Elements. And um, pretty much the only way I have ever used these is by taking a rubber stamp and drawing pretty much coloring the image in directly on the rubber stamp, spraying it with your mister, and then stamping it. And it gives a beautiful watercolor image. Um, so it works really good when you have solid image stamps and using that technique. And actually, let me just show you guys real quick here. <laughs> this is these flowers right here. That's how I did them. A long time ago <laughs> was just using the watercolor crayons on the Stampin' Up stamp. I colored in the stems in green and the flowers in pink then sprayed them and stamped them off. I believe I did them probably once and then again and this is probably like the second time around because it's a little bit lighter. But that's uh, it's a really good technique. But Tina had asked if you could watercolor with them like how they would work watercoloring in images. So I thought I would give it a try. Um, now I'm just gonna show you this to you guys really quick. I'm going to attach this. I have, I did record myself doing this last weekend because this was actually what I was gonna do last weekend for use it or lose it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I followed Jennifer McGuire's recent video on embossed watercoloring. So. Um, you'll watch the video. All I did was take the colors and scribble them on the watercolor paper and then I embossed. This is just a big background. I didn't do a great job, but it's a big background stamp from Stampin' Up that I embossed and then wiped off the excess color. So very cool. I'm actually going to use this to make a card. Um, but for now, I am going to use my watercolor crayons. Uh, this is just a laminated piece of paper that I'm using as a palette here. And I have an image that I've already stamped. I'm taking some inspiration from Amy R. She did this really cool um, Easter card with the crazy bird. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I actually pulled out my Stampamajig. <laughs> haven't used that in a long time either. To stamp the bunny ears on this cute little bird and I love this bird for Easter because he looks like an Easter egg really. Okay so I have my palette, I have the crayons, I have a piece of paper towel and then my water brush. So what I am actually going to do, I'm going to take the crayons and just draw on my palette here just to put in some color. I'm just gonna pick, oh look my crayon broke. I feel like a little kid. I'm going to cry. I'm just going to use some of the colors that I used on my background because I'm going to put this on the background. Now, for some reason, my light blue, this is the only one that's gone kind of mushy. I, from watching videos on the Tim Holtz uh, watercolor crayons, to me, they definitely are not... Um, I want to say the same formula as the Stampin' Up! ones because the Stampin' Up! ones are hard crayons. Like, you, them wearing down like this is from being used, but to me, the Tim Holtz are soft, so they won't keep their shape, whereas these, you can sharpen them and they'll keep their shape. Okay, so I think I'm just going to have any gray but I'm gonna pull out this light brown from the earth tones to add in here okay 
So then I am just going to use my water brush and add some water to my crayon. And then use that to color. I have to bring in some other colors later on. I apologize if you can hear Jonathan giggling. It's, today was his birthday party, so he's a little wild. <laughs> I'm just kind of coloring them in wherever. If you haven't seen Amy R's video, I will link it down below. Um, it just looks really cool. It's like the like the little bird had been painting eggs, and he's got it all over. So I would say so far so good. This is coloring in nicely and I'm sure, well, you definitely could color right on the image and then use your, um, use your water brush. Definitely giving a nice light um, pastel -y look. Like an Easter egg. Gonna give his ears the brown. And some purple on his little wing here. I'm just going to bring some darker brown to shade his ears. more blue.
around. eyes here let's see Just gonna grab a different paintbrush here. Clean up his eyes. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and then I will uh, be back with my card. Okay, and here is my adorable card. It's so cute. I love how it turned out. Um, for the background, I just cut it down with my largest stitched rectangle from Lawn Fawn. So that's the background there. And then for the bird, I used my cross stitch oval, cross stitch oval ovals from Gina Marie Designs. Super cute, I love that. And I had this um, was actually the bottom piece down here um, that I had cut down bef after I did the embossing and I stamped out the chirpy chirp chirp and that is from Chirpy Chirp Chirp uh, from Lawn Fawn. And I have the translation Happy Easter. And then I just added in some of these little puffy Easter egg stickers. And these I bought last year from uh, Walmart. They're the Hallmark stickers. So there it is. So super cute. I do love the way it turned out. I'm going to do some more of those. Adorable. Okay, so if you want to see how I did the background, just stay tuned. I will have the process video attached. All right, so I've sped this up for you. I have my watercolor paper taped down to a board and I'm just taking the watercolor crayons and scribbling them across the top of the paper. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing, <laughs> sorry. I'm just trying to um, kind of keep it in a color line like colors going from pink to green. And then I'm just taking my paintbrush and water and watering it down and just messy coloring with it. You just want to get the, um, the look of the crayon off. So you want it to look like watercolor. So you're just rubbing it. I wanted to do each color separately and then I kind of uh, added some more water and blended them together. And then I let it dry a little bit and I did use my heat tool to speed it up. I didn't want it to mix in too much. 
So this is the background stamp that I'm using. I'm using VersaFine, uh, sorry, VersaMark ink and just stamping it down and embossing it with clear embossing powder. Just want to get a good coat. I didn't really push it down very well when I was doing it, so that's why the inside of the stamped image isn't very good. So you can kind of see it here. So now this is where I'm taking clean water. You want to make sure you're using clean water and my brush. Um, I got a ton of water down first and then started rubbing it with paper towel because I didn't want to mix too much in the background. You just did that until you got the look that you wanted. And that is it. Hope you enjoyed this week's Use It or Lose It. Please leave a comment, subscribe, and have a great day.